This video is not just directed to the developers of Minecraft. This video is mostly directed to you, the community, the players. I have postponed this topic since 1.9 came out. I did this because I thought eventually this topic would stop appearing everywhere and most players would just accept the new system for better or for worse. I was wrong, so I think it's time to talk about it now. I should also make it clear that I do not expect this video to change people's minds about their combat preferences, nor is that even remotely the intent of this video. The intent of this video is to shift the discussion of combat into something more productive. I don't care if you support the update or not. Listen closely, because I'm here to help you. In most cases, you cannot convince someone who enjoys the combat update to stop enjoying it. Also in most cases, you cannot force someone to enjoy the update if they don't like it. Arguing if one is better than the other is like arguing if The Matrix is better than Harry Potter. Sure, they're both films, but the style and intent of both films are very different from each other. It's literally a matter of opinion, and we should respect the opinions of others even if we may not agree. I know it seems like I'm stating the obvious here, but the amount of arguments over if one is better than the other is extraordinary, and these arguments often go nowhere. These arguments are unproductive, they change nothing about the game. Just to clear things up right now, I enjoy both styles of combat for very different reasons. Shocking, right? 1.8 combat is more focused on movement, made up of lots of tiny decisions and the occasional big decision. It reminds me of the Japanese action games I like to play from time to time. In contrast, 1.9 combat is about timing. There is a lot more weight put on the decisions you make, even if it's less frequent. It reminds me of the combat of Dark Souls or Monster Hunter, where the weight and speed of a weapon is very important to consider during combat. I like both. They're both really fun, and there's nothing wrong with liking or disliking either style. Honestly, I don't understand why people feel the need to debate which is superior. It's these debates about the combat which is splitting the community more than the update itself. Don't let anyone force you to enjoy something, and don't let anyone force you to stop enjoying something. It's a childish way of thinking. Post-combat players, please stop saying 1.8 combat requires no skill and they're stuck in the past. That's not true, and don't worry, I'll elaborate later. But their concerns are often rational and genuine. Pre-combat players, Please, stop saying only true PvP players play 1.8. That's not true either. These untrue arguments are based on hyperbole. These pointless comments have to stop, otherwise nothing will change. Nothing. The developers look at these arguments and decide to change nothing because these conversations end up nowhere. So we're stuck with the same combat system because these arguments continue, nothing is getting better. So now I've established what does not help change. The question now is, how can we, the community, not just the devs, help work towards a better combat system? Now that combat has changed, what will it take to make the combat update better for everyone? Of course, it's impossible to cater to everyone, but at least there are some things we can do to reduce the amount of people who oppose updating to the latest version of Minecraft, or at least get some players back in the game. Doing nothing, arguing about nothing, is helpful to no one. I will start by addressing the people who keep suggesting remove the combat update. The developers will probably not do that for you. It's simply not a suggestion they're likely to listen to. You can try, but to what end? You might have some genuine, irrefutable arguments which are worth listening to, but the reality is, people like the combat update, and you cannot convince them to stop liking it, and you cannot convince them to enjoy your specific combat style. The developers are showing no intentions of reverting it. I know it's something you probably won't want to hear, but I cannot lie to you about this. This suggestion will not help you. Instead, come up with solutions that builds onto or complements the new system. Here, 
Let me come up with some examples for you, but you're the experts, you should be making the suggestions. Don't like attack cooldowns? Here's an update you might like, a quick draw enchantment for bows, a swiftness enchantment for swords which cannot stack with sharpness, a fury potion which reduces your damage but increases your attack speed, or even the speed you eat. Maybe add a short sword with no attack cooldown. It may not solve your issues with attack cooldowns, but it can at least improve it, and that's what the developers are going to listen to. Don't like how stone axes do so much damage and can pierce hard earned armor? Well, maybe make it so the protection enchantment caters towards players with low tier weapons. Don't like how shields are essentially mandatory, yet they slow down the pace of combat? I have a suggestion, a round shield which blocks 50% of damage but doesn't slow down your speed, kind of like how sword blocking worked. Don't like how you're playing Skywars and someone unfairly teleports into your base with a chorus fruit? Minecraft factions, spending hours looking for that one base of your enemy, just so you can't get into the base, but you have to strategically create a TNT cannon to blow a hole inside the base. E endless hours of fun and epic strategy- Woohoo! Minecraft factions, endless hours of looking for your enemy's base, just so- No, you don't have to use strategy anymore and, you know, blow your, blow your way in. You have to just eat your chorus fruit and you'll teleport straight in, because- that, Because that's fun, you know. Strategy- Ooh, you suck! That's not Mojang's fault. That's not the fault of the combat update. Whoever designed the mini game you're playing made the conscious decision to include a specific item. You should complain to the mini game designer instead, not the developers. That's not their responsibility. Please come up with something that will benefit you. You see that flame and arrow? That's the one thing Minecraft could have added. Arrows that set stuff on fire, they didn't do it. You know how much fun that would have been? And yeah, sure, there's the fire. There's the flame enchant. That's not the same thing, man. It doesn't set anything on fire except people and, and entities. I mean like blocks, man. Pre-combat players will thank you for it. And trust me, post-combat players will thank you for it too. Maybe it won't be as great for you as reverting the combat update altogether. And I acknowledge that. But at least you can suggest ways to improve it. <laughs> okay, so here's a weird analogy for you. If Mojang are telling you to eat strawberries, and you don't like strawberries, you like mangoes, but Mojang aren't offering mangoes, maybe ask for the strawberries to be coated in chocolate or something, because no matter how hard you ask for mangoes, Mojang aren't going to give it to you. I think we'd all prefer the chocolate strawberries in this situation. Anyway, that analogy won't strengthen my argument, but it's a funny way of thinking about it. My point is, Mojang cannot help you unless you contribute something which works for everyone, not just some people. Now I'd like to address the hardcore post-combat advocates. Listen, if someone plays 1.8 because that's what they personally prefer, don't try to stop them. It's what they enjoy. Let them enjoy it. Feel free to say you personally prefer the later versions, that's fine. But don't try to force someone to enjoy something they don't enjoy. They are the ones making that decision. They're not hurting anyone. They're not inferior players for doing it. Just let them enjoy what they enjoy. The opposite is true for you as well. Again, it feels like I'm stating the obvious here, but the amount of times I've seen people say, 1.8 players are just a bunch of kids who can't handle change. It's honestly frustrating, and again, completely unhelpful. I find it strange how I feel the need to come to this conclusion, but here goes. People like different styles of combat. It's frustrating how obvious this is, but I feel like I have to say it. People like different things, and that's okay. And if you really want combat to be more like what it was in 1.8, contribute something people will listen to. The people you argue with don't want to go back. You need to suggest something they will want to listen to. That's why nothing has changed since 1.9, because the post-update players and the developers have moved on. And if you want the future of Minecraft updates to have better combat, come up with a solution you will like that they will listen to. I'm saying this to help you. Thank you for watching guys. I know I seemed really harsh in this video, but I promise you I have the best of intentions. We need to stop having arguments which no one will listen to, no one's going to change. We need to start thinking about how we can 
actually make some changes. If you were hoping for this to be a video about removing the combat update or just bashing 1.8 players, I'm sorry to disappoint. But if I made either of those videos, it would achieve nothing, it wouldn't help you, it wouldn't help me, it wouldn't help the game. The best thing we can do is talk about how we can improve it, not remove it. That's poetry right there. <laughs> I know a lot of you are going to make comments which speak out against this video, and that's fine, but the chances are I've made a response video to those comments, which you can click with the card on the screen. Make sure you watch that before leaving any comments in this video. The chances are I'll know if you didn't. Thanks for watching, guys.